What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I'm always contending for the faith, once for all, delivered to the saints. And on this Friday after Ash Wednesday, we continue with our Lenten devotion, Faith of Our Fathers. Stick around. <music> So on this Friday after Ash Wednesday, we're going to continue through the Gospel of Mark. And you're going to notice something, if you haven't already, Mark's favorite word is immediately. And I think that there is great understanding of who God is, who Christ is in this word immediately. So we're going to continue in the first chapter of the Gospel of Mark. And we have another excellent quote from Martin Luther. So let's get to it. This comes to us from the Gospel of Mark, the first chapter, verses 29 through 45. And immediately he, Jesus, left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever, and immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and her fever left her, and she began to serve him. That evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons, and the whole city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let us go on to the next towns, that I may preach there also, for that is why I came out. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. And a leper came to him, imploring him, and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me well. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town, but was out in desolate places and people were coming to him from every quarter. Moved by pity. Immediately and moved by pity, I think are two phenomenal characteristics of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To meditate on. Our reading from our church father is again from Martin Luther and it is about the concept of suffering. The good God permits such small evils to befall us merely in order to arouse us snorers from our deep sleep and to make us recognize on the other hand the incomparable and innumerable benefits we still have. He wants us to consider what would happen if he were to withdraw his goodness from us completely. In that spirit, Job said, chapter 2, verse 10, Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? Job said in Job 121, As God wills, so let it be. The name of the Lord be praised. He did not simply look at the evil as we would-be saints do. He kept in sight the goodness and grace of the Lord. With this, he comforted himself and overcame evil with patience. We also are to look at our misfortunes in no other way than that with them God gives us a light by which we may see and understand his goodness and kindness in countless other ways. Then we conclude that such small misfortunes are barely a drop of water on a big fire or a little spark in the ocean. Then we understand and love the words. We'll give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Lent uh, is a time to focus on our impending death, to focus on 
suffering if you're if you're giving something up and you're you're doing without something that you love but also we as christians be it lent or not are called to look out into the world and not just see the evil but by seeing the evil recognize the immeasurable goodness of god and what a hellish place this would be even with all the evil that we see god is still present what a hellish place this would be if god would have withdrawn himself entirely. Give thanks unto the Lord in suffering, for he is good, and his steadfast love endures forever. We pray. O Lord, you declare your almighty power above all in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant us such a measure of your grace that we may obtain your gracious promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasures, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Until next time, may God richly bless you with the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.